Hey everybody, welcome to Captain Joel's Fishing Minute, episode number 51. You know what they keep saying to me? Hey, Captain Joel, could you show us how to fillet one of them sturgeon again the way you do? Well, this is a little bit of a smaller sturgeon. It's a 54 and three, 44 and three quarters. It's actually holding first place on the derby. Hey, eat your heart out, hood. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, everybody's out getting a lot of requests to show another sturgeon fillet video. With the smaller fish, it's a little easier. And I should be able to do this. Oh, awfully drafty out here. What I like to do is cut right down along them gills. Along, oh, you bastard. Follow along the back like this. Just working that meat right off of that spine. All the way down to the end. Start working it right off of the rib cage, everybody. Sharp knife. Oh, shit. Let that meat fall off of the bone. Let the knife do the work for you. Fall right off of the bone like that. God damn, that's going to be good. Everybody says, Captain Joel, where are you going to take your sturgeon when you're done filleting it? I'll tell you where I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it right up to Bud's Meat. Did I mention that they're one of the donators, gift certificates for the Derby? Ooh, doggy. Is that going to be good? Garlic pepper flavor? Are you kidding me? Let that meat fall right off of the sturgeon. Like that. Then take the fillet right off of the fish. Nice and clean. Like that. Flip her over. Just remove the fillet off of the skin. I like to let my knife ride just a little bit, a little high off of the fillet, and I leave that dark meat on the skin. And just keep working that knife. You gotta have a sharp knife. Somebody, you gotta have a sharp knife. Somebody's been using this knife as a screwdriver, but that's all you gotta do for a nice fillet to take the buds meat. Are you kidding me? First place so far in the derby, folks. Thanks for some 